And we start with an ABC 15 exclusive in the call that started it all. In East Valley High School shut down. Students and parents sent into a panic all because of a hoax. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez is live. And Nicole, a prank like that not to be taken lightly. That's exactly right. The 17 year old here actually called once, then hung up after screaming, but he called back again, telling that 911 dispatcher to hurry up. Now that teen is behind bars for his crime, facing at least one felony charge. The first call lasted 16 seconds. The next sparked a valley wide response. Hi, I'm at Apache Junction High School and I need help. Hurry. What's going on at the high school? We have officers en route. There's somebody walking around and it looks like he pulled out a gun. Captain Arnold Freeman says this was a first for Apache Junction police. We're assuming from, from the get go, from the time we received that call, uh, that we're going to step into this massive injury situation or massive. Um, body situation uh, and that's really tough to take mentally. At least 50 officers from five different Valley agencies all threw themselves at a call that turned out to be nothing. Everything we answer is real until we prove it's not real. A massive response like this though doesn't just get shoved under the rug. They're no longer uh, jokes, they're no longer uh, pranks, they are criminal offenses. Freeman says not only did this send families spinning, it put the entire city in danger. There could could have been burglaries that were going on when we could have been answering those. Uh, it just takes away all of our resources over something that shouldn't have been done. On top of that, it left behind a huge bill. Could be in the thousands and thousands of dollars. The 17 year old who made that call now sitting in a cell. And he's going to be known as that guy. Next time he applies for a job, the next time he applies for a school, the next time he applies to go to college anywhere, that's gonna come up. Now that's just one case. By our, our count just last week alone, at least 11 fake threats were made across the valley. That's including Chandler, Mesa, even Phoenix. Police saying if they find those callers, most of them will likely be prosecuted. Live in Phoenix tonight, Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.